So there's a lot going on here today. Um, progress is slow um, and steady, okay? So it's pretty much two steps forward, one step back. Um, hopefully not any more water damage will happen in the meantime because we've had a couple of issues where that has happened. Um, our roof is leaking and uh, it's leaking in about four places, unfortunately. So uh, we're trying to do some research and figure out how we can um, use the proper kind of sealant on a, a metal roof like this and possibly paint over it um, once the sealant goes on because that's typically uh, what you can do to extend the life of a metal roof like this one because we can't afford to replace the metal roof at this point. It's extremely expensive and I mean extremely. So um, we're working on that, working with the Historic Commission to make sure that we do the things that we need to do the right way. So we're trying to figure out why we're getting a lot of water here into the um, porch area. It just huddles right into here bad. You can see how it's all there. Oh, yeah, Starting yeah. to rot. We got a lot of water into there. Trying to figure out yeah, why yeah, that's coming yeah. down, what the deal is. So let's put a pan up here, hook up here to the, um, the gutter area. So if you look and see, top part of that column, that crown that's around it, just sticks out wider than the roof. So that's just catching water right there like a big old gutter and funneling water all the way down that column, back around into the porch and down the column, comes down into this column on the inside and then just drips. We've got to figure out a way to correct that. Yeah, those porch floors stick out proud all the way around and just catch water and roll water in. We gotta figure out how to fix that problem all the way around. This thing. So the moisture reader here is about 17. Move it towards that stain. So I contacted two different typical roofing um, experts, uh, companies here in town, and they quote one of them quoted me $100,000 to replace this roof, and they said it had to be replaced. Um, the other one said like $120,000. Um, didn't like either one of those answers. Uh, one of the guys said that he could seal the area for about $7,500, but he could only guarantee that it would um, be leak proof for a year. And after that, it would need to be completely replaced, the whole thing. So, um, thankfully, I lucked upon a guy who, his name's Mike Costello. If you want any information about him, I'd be happy to pass it on to you. But he does metal roofs only, and he works mainly in, in with industrial roofs and metal silos and barn roofs. So he came out and uh, talked to me about sealing the entire thing, which it had already been sealed before. So this wasn't the first time, uh, probably 20 years ago it had been sealed, and it was now, you know, uh, failing. So with the new, this new sealant, he said he could seal the entire roof and then he would paint it um, whatever color that I wanted. Of course, I have to get that approved by the Historic Commission. And um, that that would completely seal, he would guarantee that it would seal it. Um, and that would, he has like a, a five year warranty and then um, said that that should work for about 10 years. And then we just have to do it again. And it ended up costing, I believe in total, about $6,500. And the roof looks so much better even than it did before because of the new color. And we'll see what you think. Uh, but it definitely stopped the leaks, took care of it all. And I'm very, very happy. Oh, this is 
freaking me out. We're testing the color right there. Okay, that's number one. Now that the roof has been completely sealed, we're gonna test this one wall that was leaking in the dining room with the moisture meter. Is that what you call it, Phil? Yes. How's it look? It's about the same as it was two weeks ago. Good, because although it didn't rain at all last week, not at all. Um, it has rained terribly over this weekend, like tons and tons and tons of rain. So if it was going to be high or higher, it would certainly be that way now. So that's a good sign, right? I think so. You think so? You're not sure? I mean, it was altering like that before. In different places, correct? Yeah, I mean, way down here it's even, you know, 17 or 18. Right. 20 near the top. Yeah. Um, yeah, if it's not worse, that's a good thing. That sounds like a. I don't know if that's a vote of confidence or. Uh, we just don't know yet.